Hi guys, this is Jonathan with Nimblehost, and in this video I'm going to take a few minutes and show you some of the awesome new stuff that you can do with My Menu version 3.0. So let's go ahead and get started. I have right here a very simple Wrapper Weaver project. It's got just three pages, and we're using the Cube Wrapper Weaver theme from Nimblehost. So I'll go ahead and open up the Stacks library, and you'll see that we have uh, Nimblehost Stacks right here, and we have the My Menu Stack. And you'll notice, actually, that we have a new stack here that I'll touch on here in a moment. But the first step is to drag the My Menu Stack onto your Stacks page, like so. One of the most requested features that we've gotten for the My Menu Stack has been support for responsive layouts, and in addition to that, the ability to create custom menu items that have their own subpages. And I'm glad to say that we have been able to integrate both of these features into this update. So when you take a look at the My Menu options, you'll see now that we have a section for mobile and responsive options. And you can very easily enable the responsive layout by clicking this box like so. You'll see that we make a note that responsive layout is enabled with a bit of a description so you understand how that works. And then you'll see a screenshot here showing you where the mobile button will appear to mobile visitors when they use their iPhone or whatever device that they're using. You can, of course, in My Menu Options, change the location of this button. And this picture will update to reflect uh, where that will be. So, for example, right now where the position is in the top right, if we were to switch that to left, for example, you'll see that it switches the picture. You can see that the button is now on the left. And this is just to give you an idea of where the button is going to be when visitors access your website. Because in Weaver, we're not able to actually see the mobile version here. And as you can see here, we have different options to uh, change the type of button. Right now, this is an icon, just a simple icon. We can use a text button, for example. And the text being used is the navigation label here. So we can enter something like menu or just nav. And that will be displayed instead of the navigation. Again, this is just a screenshot to show you where the location will be. This won't actually reflect the text that you type in here, but it will on the actual site itself. So you can see that we can uh, change the position from top to bottom. And uh, again, the screenshot uh, updates to show you where that would be. And if we were to switch to a corner icon button, and uh, let's say we go with center, you'll notice here that the screenshot shows a full width button. And we have a little note here that when you choose a center alignment, you're going to get a full width the button automatically. So those are just the options for the mobile and responsive uh, section here, uh, brand new in the My Menu version 3.0 update. And the second uh, aspect I wanted to talk about that's new is custom menu items where you can create your own sub pages. And you can do this with a brand new stack that we've included with My Menu free of charge. And it is called this custom item with Submenu. Now, before you can drag and drop this onto the page, what you'll need to do is enable adding custom menu items with a stack. So you do that, and then you'll notice that we've got a new section that drops down here. And here is where you're going to be dragging and dropping the custom menu items. So to create your own custom menu items, you simply drag one of these two stacks. This is the one with the submenu, and then we have here with just a regular standard. Uh, custom item. Let's go ahead and drag that in first so you can see how it works. You can see we just have the custom menu item. If we preview in Rapid Weaver, you'll see that we have uh, the menu item here. That's a bit uh, overflowing, so let's go ahead and fix the width there by changing the menu width to say something like 200, not 2000. <laughs> and we're going to preview in Rapid Weaver, and you'll see that that fits nicely. And so if you wanted to create your own custom menu items with sub pages, you would use this new stack here. 
my menu custom item with submenus. You drag this here into this same section. You'll notice that you now have a link for a regular menu item and a new section for a subpage or a number of subpages. So if we were to add, say for example, a couple more custom menu items right here, like so, and then let's add another one just like this, you'll see now that we have got two custom menu items below another custom menu item to create the subpages. And if we preview this in Rapid Weaver, you'll see that we have this custom menu item. It reveals and works just exactly like you would like it to do. And the nice thing about this is that you can now create a custom menu of your choosing and uh, display whatever links you want, or if you want to just display certain pages in your website on this particular page or throughout your website, it's very easy to do that now with these custom menu items that can create subpages as well. So that's a quick overview of the custom menu items. I'll go ahead and actually demo for you the responsive support. Um, if you are an Apple developer, like we are, uh, and you download and use the Xcode development environment, the Xcode development environment includes what's called an iOS simulator, which uh, Rapid Weaver is really smart about. It will know if it's installed on your Mac, and you can use the options down here when you preview to select iOS simulator. So the first thing we're going to do before we preview this is we want to make sure that all our responsive options are set like we want them to be. And you'll, we, of course we need the responsive layout option enabled, and it is. And the next step is just to make sure that we have the button where we want it to be. So I personally like to have the menu button in the top right. It's just personal preference. You can place it however you like. And again, you'll see that the screenshot updates to illustrate where the button will be. And let's go ahead and check and make sure that this is working like we expect. So let's go ahead and preview this in the iOS simulator. And uh, you'll see here that we have the cube theme. And the cube is a responsive theme. So you'll notice that the layout has been adjusted automatically for iPhone. And here we have the My Menu stack. And it's got that menu toggle right here. So if you go ahead and click that, you'll notice that we have our menu. But it looks like we've it's appearing underneath another item. This is easily corrected, however, because we can go into the My Menu Stack options, and if we scroll down to the Advanced section, you'll notice that we've got a Z-Index value here. So if we increase this value, that means that the My Menu Stack will be layered on top of other items on the page, which is exactly what we want to do in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and make that change, and then we're going to preview this in the iOS simulator again, like so. And when we uh, tap on this button, you'll see that it's still not working. So when that happens, that usually means that we need to, pardon me while I get out of my test pages here, that usually means that we need to increase the number even more. Um, occasionally it can mean that the iOS simulator has got some cached values. Um, so I'll go ahead and actually quit the simulator and then restart it just to make sure it's starting fresh. And so we make sure that the z-index value is high enough, and then we go ahead and preview this in the iOS simulator again, like so. And we click on the button, and you'll see that it now covers the navigation, and menu items work just exactly like you think they would if you've got sub-menu items that they'll drop down. And again, if you want to hide the menu, you simply tap the button again, and it fades out of view. So that is a quick preview of the My Menu stack and some of the new features that should make your web design life a lot easier. We hope you enjoy using My Menu and if you have any questions, be sure to let us know. Thanks and happy weaving!